Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It is for Monday the 5th of April 2021 for all signs. So as always, because it's all signs, it probably won't resonate with everybody. And remember, my readings can last a few days after when they're released, divine timing and all that. Okay, so let's see what we have. What's the message, please? Angel Spirits Guides for Monday the 5th of April 2021. What do people need to hear the most? Wait. Just wait. I'm going to put one more card. Any other message to go with this, please? Any other message to go with this, please? Any other message to go with this, please? I've got within the next few weeks, you know, I'm going to pull one more. Any other message? I've got perfect timing. Now we had this yesterday. Perfect timing. We had this for the fourth. Um, there's something about when the time is right. It's just not the right time right now. So just wait. Interesting. <laughs> Let's pull some cards and see what we have. What do we have, please, Angel Spirits Guides, for Monday the 5th of April 2021? What do we have for Monday the 5th of April 2021? What is the message people need to hear the most? Okay, I'm just going to put those like this. Eight of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. And we've got the world. <laughs> okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. Okay. It's interesting because the magician is always about timing, you know, magic acts, illusions, you know, they all work because the timing is just perfect, you know, the synchronicity of events need to work for an illusion or a magic act to work. So there's definitely an energy of something to do with timing. We have... So it feels like someone's feeling stuck. And we have the Eight of Pentacles, which is a card of hard work. Um, it can be about learning a new occupation or adding a new skill to your portfolio. So some of you may have furthered yourself in terms of education qualifications, but it can also be to do with just trying to bring material gain into your life. But there's an energy of feeling stuck with the Two of Swords. I don't know how something's going to pan out. It might well be that you've been working hard to it can be a card of wanting recognition interestingly enough being noticed for the skill set that you have the work that you do but it's almost like this i don't have clarity at the moment so there's definitely an energy here of, of just wait, you're not meant to have clarity. It, things happen when they're meant to happen. So whatever you've been working towards in terms of bringing material gain into your life, and it does feel like it's following on from the fourth reading, um, you're not meant to because things happen when they're meant to happen. And there is an energy of persevere with the Seven of Wands. Persevere. Keep on doing what you know to be the right thing to do right now. This is about even though you feel challenge, this is about continue putting your heart and soul into something. Because there's an energy here that perseverance will pay off. And it definitely will because this is the Knight of Pentacles, the offer or the opportunity. The Knight of Pentacles is somebody making you an offer. 
Now, this can be in terms of a job, this can be in terms of contracts. It can mean some money coming your way in terms of sales, new business. Um, but definitely in energy, the nights represent change. So it feels like you're working towards something, but you don't have clarity of how something's going to pan out. And the message is persevere. Even though you're feeling challenged in a situation, persevere. I mean, you might be competing. I will also say some of you might be competing against other people for this opportunity. And you might be feeling that, you know, but this is about the brave heart energy. Stand, stand up in your truth and and keep on persevering taking action because there's definitely an energy of some kind of offer that's bringing change coming your way some of you may have changed careers here i know that won't be for everybody but it might well be the challenge has been because you've been changing your career you might have moved to a different industry you might have completely retrained retrained you know However, there is definitely an offer is coming your way, which is beautiful. <laughs> I love these two cards together because we have the five of cups, which can be to do with loss, looking back, focusing on the negative, something getting you down. You know, you know, there's an, there's an element of the dark, the dark cloak, feeling pessimistic about something. Um, but, you know, there's still potential here. The message with the, the Five of Cups is don't look at what's spilt, what you can't do anything about. Focus on the opportunity, the potential, the good things around you. Uh, there's definitely still hope in this situation. So it, it feels that even though... Interesting. Even though you might have wanted to... You're not getting clarity and you're thinking, oh, I don't know if things are going to change I don't know if the opportunity is going to come my way there is a message of what you've been taking to taking action towards what you have been manifesting is comes to reality you know there is an energy with the magician in the world of you know as as we have the the wand of manifestation and we have the two wands of manifestation complete here so there's definitely an energy of, of what you've been working towards there is some goal achievement coming your way all is not lost if you think if you're giving up or feeling something's not going to happen the message is wait i feel for some of you you're just thinking oh no i think that's gone i've not heard anything uh, someone's not come back to me i don't see opportunity coming my way the message is wait because within the next few weeks there is something to do with perfect timing. There's an energy of all is not lost. So don't focus on the negative. Try not to focus on the negative, um, which is what the Five of Cups is says, because there's real potential around you. So keep on persevering. Keep on going at it, because what you've been manifesting is achieved. It feels like manifestation complete this week. Uh, so it might be this week. It might be, you know, it says within the next few weeks. So I definitely feel in this energy for some of you. You don't see it, but you're not meant to. Everything will become clear. And I definitely see this is a card of victory, success, achievement, celebration. And it's also a card of worldly success. <laughs> goal, yeah, goal achievement. And it's a big goal, goal achievement, you know, it's a victory, it's winning. You might be winning against some competition as well. But I definitely see in this energy, uh, it's, it's beautiful. The magic, the resources, your skills, ability, knowledge, everything that you've been honing and putting your energy and time into, it feels that what you've been wanting to manifest is definitely going to happen. You know, it's rare you see those two cards side by side. So very nice energy. It is a card of manifestation complete. Success. Wow. So I'm going to pull a final card. Final card, please. Final card, please, for the 5th of April 2021.
So we have the dear, yeah, oh my goodness, the dear trust. Approach the situation with a light heart. It's interesting I was talking about the brave heart energy. Um, this is absolutely just trust what you're doing and persevere because it's ending in some kind of goal. Um, very goal achievement, absolutely beautiful energy and celebration. This is celebratory energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.